So it's the morning, and I'm very tired. I got to bed way too late. My family's leaving without me. Go away without saying goodbye. Okay, that's enough for me. I just want to come inside the house. I'm tired. Yeah, I got to bed way too late last night. I was up editing last night's vlog. Till really late. I'm so late that I've obviously buttoned up my shirt wrong. Yeah. I buttoned up my shirt wrong. Robert is at the window. He's like, Mommy is leaving. She'll be back though. And I'm gonna be right here at the window in my saggy baggy diaper until she comes back. And I'm gonna be eating what Mama gave me for breakfast. It's pineapples and porridge. Who eats pineapples and porridge? There they go. Leaving, say bye bye. Honestly though, I'm friggin' tired. I gotta stop going to bed at 2 in the morning. I went to bed at 2 in the morning last night. To be fair though, there was like, we used two cameras to film yesterday's vlog. One had like 80 some odd shots and one had 60 something shots. I had to pour through them all. The stupid thing is, I actually forgot to record sometimes. There's actually a lot of me recording my feet. What do you want baby? Okay, so Margaret's dropped off the kids at school by now, because that's where she was going. And she was also going to pick up mushrooms so we could have breakfast, because we can't have breakfast without mushrooms. And here's the problem, though. I want to give her a call and say, how are you going to get mushrooms when you forgot your bank card in the machine and now it's void and you got to get a new one? And the bank's all the way across town and it's probably not open at this point. So you need my bank card, which is in my wallet, and she can't get mushrooms, and I'm trying to call her. And this is where it gets fun. Right down there. Right here. Right there. There's supposed to be a little telephone icon that I can press on it and it'll make my phone come up and then I can dial a number. But guess what? It's gone! <laughs> I don't know where it went. She's home and she shopped. How did you shop? You don't have a bank card. I have cash. She has cash, of course. <laughs> The you thing. know the way people used to shop? Receiving <laughs> <laughs> change for what they gave? Yeah, I'm okay, but look at my phone. I went to give you a call, uh, right? Yeah. And there's no phone icon on the front of my phone. It's gone. Oh my god. The button for calling people isn't there anymore. What the hell? I probably accidentally recycled it. This is the shopping loot. Q-tips. Oh, little winky pumpkins. That's time of year again. We could put the pumpkins out on the porch and they're gonna look all folly. Our house is a freaking write-off, Margaret. Like, it's such a write-off. Yeah. You I... should just claim it for insurance and get a new one. The whole... I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to do the floor, though. That has to be done. Look at that. That's horrible. And the painting? I was going to paint this weekend, honest. It, it, but the zoo happened. Yeah. Spending time with my because family was more zoo. important. So we got a busy day ahead of us today. I gotta go pay off my guitar, and I gotta do some shopping, and I'm gonna buy a spray horn for scaring the pants off of you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get groceries, I got deliveries to do. It's yep. a busy day. The car is all still filled with the wedding stuff. Look at all that residual mess. <laughs> it's a mess in here. How do we get a garbage can? Uh-oh, if that box doesn't go back, they're gonna charge us money. It's $77 to ship. You have to pay so to ship I'm it. I'm gonna call the gift bay guys and say, "Give me your shipping rate if you want me to pay for shipping, but I'm not paying my shipping rate because I'm not a business, so I don't get the cool." Tell him to suck rates. a goose, so we can just. I shouldn't have keep to pay it. a penny. On no, they they messed up. They sent us a crummy product, and then. Then they sent it in a crummy box. In a crummy box, and it was all <laughs> dinged up, and then we're supposed to pay for the shipping back. No, thank you. That ain't right. Okay, so you're coming in the house in the box, box ride. Hi! I put our friends in the box. In the box. We've got to get better at spinning this camera faster. So heck yeah, I got a lot of stuff I got to do today. I got a busy day today. So does Margaret. She'll, she'll vlog about it. She'll do her own files and I'll edit it all together and you'll see kind of what we both did today. It's just an average day. Yeah, that was me. 
I burped. I'm gross, okay? I'm sick. Nasty, piggy, smelly man. But yeah, I, I, I'm wearing my Superman hat to work. Margaret made it yesterday, actually. So I got the patch, and she ironed it on the blue hat that I bought. I, do, I, I, I don't want to wear the black one with the lightning bolt all the time, because I feel like I look like a welder. Or a mechanic or something. Not that there's anything wrong with looking like a mechanic or a welder. I'm just not a welder or a mechanic, so I'm, I saved that one. Maybe I'll make that my getting chores hat. I don't know. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do today. I gotta go and I really gotta pay off that guitar. I should be able to pay it off today and have nothing left to pay on it. I don't know if I'll be able to film in there because it's like a larger, it's like a larger music store. It's called Long and McQuaid. You can't really film in a larger place. I might, I mean, I know one of the guys in there, so he might let me film, but people tend to get freaked out when they see a big camera like this. If I was doing part of the vlogs on like some kind of like a maybe like a power shot or a little Nikon cool pics that also did video, then I could probably get away with it, but I'm filming on this big camera and people get freaked out when they see a big camera. They're like, you got a big camera? Are you working for the competition? Are you gonna film all our stuff and all our trade secrets and then send the footage over to our competitors? And they're gonna outdo us because of the little bit of measly footage you took in the store? And people also get freaked out too. There's some people that film people that don't want to be filmed. And they're like, don't film me. And they're like, screw you, you're in a public place, I'll film me anyway. And I try to be careful about that. I try not to just film people when they don't want to be filmed. It's going to happen sometimes, I suppose. This is a vlog, but, you know. Anyway, I might get footage of that. I missed my comic books last week, but I'm not going to get them today. I'll wait till Wednesday or, or Friday, and I'll pick them up then so you won't see that. And this stupid box has to go back in the mail. It was a bad product, and then they were like, don't worry, just we'll, pay, just, we'll just pay to ship it back ourselves. You just put it in the mail, and we'll send you a label that says it's just paid for, and then it wasn't paid for, and they totally screwed her. Because that's what they do. They screw you. Every time. Up the tailpipe. All right, so I'm here at the Long and McQuaid. I'm going to pay for my guitar. This used to be Bud's Music Center. Now it's Long and McQuaid. They're actually moving. They're going to go to a bigger location down the street. Anyway, time to pay up. Pay the piper. Well, that's done. Paid for, now I own the guitar, now I can drop it down the stairs, and it doesn't even matter. It's not like I owe anybody else for it. Although, I don't plan on dropping it down the stairs anytime soon. But it's mine now, ha <laughs> ha. It's actually kind of good because, you know, I've, I've bought a lot of guitars. Holy crap, radio! It's the CBC, always trying to take control of the airwaves. I, uh, I've owned a lot of guitars, actually. Probably about 35 acoustic guitars. Shut up, Ben! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know what? I've, I've paid like three grand for an acoustic guitar before. And it wasn't as good as this Epiphone Texan. Epiphone is known for making like some of the crappiest guitars ever. Like they're terrible. Like you can take an Epiphone and you can put that next to like a beginner guitar made by some stupid crappy company that's like crappy. And they're side by side. The Epiphone is quite often crappier. They're terrible. But the Epiphone Texan is a reproduction of a guitar that was made a long time ago that Sir Paul McCartney used to use when he was in the Beatles. It's not an exact replica. This one doesn't have an, extend, a, an adjustable bridge, but it sounds good. Solid top, solid bottom, laminated sides, but it doesn't really matter. You know, it still sounds really good. And I got to tell you, it feels good to be finished paying for it. And I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of this one in a while. I'm probably going to keep this one for a long time. It's going to be like my guitar because Margaret's always like, you got a new guitar, and then it's gone. Six months later, three months later, it's gone. I've given so many guitars away, it's just unbelievable how many I've given away. Not that I'm puffing myself up, but that's why I don't have them anymore. I've either smashed them, okay, three times, I've smashed three. And I've given away like six or seven, seven, and one of which was smashed <laughs> by the other owner. <laughs> like, you're welcome for giving you the guitar so you can smash the crap out of it. <laughs> But other than that, we should probably just check in with Margaret and see what she's doing through the magic of editing. Okay, so I'm having a really hard time right now. Don't you hate it when you're waiting for food and it's not quite done yet and you have to wait for the timer and it's just counting down, like, slowly. And everything else in the kitchen is calling my name and for us that means cake and cake pops and icing and cookies <laughs> they're all talking to me. Heck there boy! They're finally putting the road through! I mean this road's always been here but over there they're adding two or three more lanes, at least two more lanes by the looks of it. That's gonna pretty near make our whole commute so much easier past this part. It's so friggin' terrible. 
Heck there, see? Look at that construction. They're making it all bigger. Bigger for the drivers, safer for people. Pretty damn awesome. Woohoo! I made it! Yay! Look at this mess. Oh my god. I leave the house, go do some deliveries, and the whole house looks like a bomb went off inside of it. So, Margaret, yeah. I finished paying for my guitar. It's all paid off. It was like a hundred bucks, Ooh. but it's paid. So we're not going to go and do something that I was planning. What were you planning on doing? Well, a romantic weekend out? We could go to the movies, yeah. cheap night. It's only like four fifty a person. We have a don't throw it. I, I had won't. it like I place it. Put it back the way I had it. I well, had it placed there nicely. No. Yeah. It's such a door. Like no. How I did you it. have it? Like this? This is what happens when I knock over one of Brad's figures. And I have to put it back the way it was. Except that Brad can't remember how it was. Like how I have a fit. Is that how you had it? Kind of, yeah, good enough. Looks nice. Maybe we can put that one Oh my like god! <laughs> put, that, put that one like this. Don't break my of... pumpkins. No, I'm fixing it. <laughs> See? Okay, fine. That looks good like that. That's not how I had it. Let's put the bear up there with them too. The bear. The bear and the pumpkins. So have a little teddy bear picnic? The other one? There's another one there. <laughs> We're gonna go. See? The bears. They're happy to be with the pumpkins. Uh -huh. Right? So what are you doing? You after lunch, you're going out. Yep. I'm going out. Got lots to do. Got all the groceries to get. Uh, gotta go to the government building. Government. Pay off them. Yeah, government. And uh, odds and sods, you know, stuff. Fun. That's what we have for breakfast. Yeah. Pineapple porridge. <laughs> what the heck? Why do you have pineapple porridge? You want it all so good. He's like, yeah, I'm done, done with Is the that paper. garbage? Yeah, that's garbage. Don't hold up. Don't you give the daddy. Don't eat the paper. There we go. Here Is that catch. good? Is that good muffin? Yeah, I didn't catch it at all. It's on the floor. <laughs> Lunch time! Look at this! What the heck did we do to deserve such fancy looking lunch today? Meat on a stick. When you put meat on a stick, people will line up around the block to get it. I don't know what it is. You take the same meat, you just like slap it on your plate. Without the stick, people are like, oh well, it's just chicken. You put that same meat on a stick, look, it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. And then it's a sport. Oh, no, 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 no. Can you try the sauce? We're allowed to have it too. Don't take the sauce, baby! You'll make a mess everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna try some with the sauce. Alright, here we go. In for the kill. What's the sauce? What is the sauce? She's lucky. Mm. <laughs> That's good in a kind of gross way. <laughs> Margaret, is this a bottle of pee? No. You're not leaving a bottle of urine on the counter? No. <laughs> It looks like pee. Does it smell like pee? <laughs> Does it taste like pee? <laughs> no, it, it tastes like sunscreen. So I just got off the phone with Margaret just recently and she's not too happy. She's having some problems with bureaucracy and paperwork trying to get her license renewed. So she's not in a good mood. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her in a good mood. I'm going to buy a can of spray air. And you know what you do with a can of spray air when you got a wife? You sneak up behind them and scare the crap out of them with it over and over again and then put it on YouTube. <laughs> Let's do it! Yeah, so this is perfect for my little surprise for Margaret. And you know what? I don't care if you're watching the vlog and you know that I got this because you know what? Still gonna get you when you're not looking. Now you just know it's coming. The Honker 300. <laughs> what a perfect name. <laughs> so I'm here at the Timmy's. And I found the old girl. She's in the drive-thru at the Timmy's over there. So I'm gonna wait here for her. She'll come around. She, I, she actually has all four kids at the moment. And she's gonna go try and do groceries with all four kids. Personally, I think she's insane. I would never try and do groceries with all four kids. Well, I don't do groceries. But if I was gonna do groceries or go shopping for anything, I wouldn't take all four kids with me. When I take two, I get stressed out. Two. She's got four, so she's gonna come around, she's gonna park, and I'm gonna take two of the kids. And I might even be able to get her with the horn for the first time. The Honker 300. <laughs> 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 
parked on the wrong side. <laughs> There's no card in my camera. There's no card in your camera. Drive through and I can't. Oh no. One of those days. That sucks. You wanna start transferring kids? Come around you wanna come around and give me a kiss and transfer the kids? Yeah. Alright, we gotta force it to happen. We're gonna make this happen because we failed the last time. With the mask, remember we failed. We'll make this happen. Here's the kid. <laughs> Did it work? I should have spilled your coffee on your That's obscene. Here you go. You know why I got You should have got this on your lap, you know. You know why? Oh no, there's stuff Very in there. Hot. Can you hold this? And that's a really crummy Here, hold this. Um, hold this. Two. Hey, don't touch my horn. It's mine. Okay, so we're here, we're getting the groceries. It's been a run around crazy silly day, but we also just scored. Oh, you can see that. And I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, start coming around the store with us. Hey, Robert. Robert's having fun. Hey, say hi. Hi. Hi, and Rachel. And they always know that we get the produce first, and then we go get a cookie. Yes, produce. Okay. Hello. So, I'm home. A lot of the stuff still needs to be put away, but I wanted to show Arthur what he got. Okay, Arthur, you ready, buddy? Yeah. Here you go. What's in here? What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Put your arm back in your shirt. Yeah, I can. Go ahead, Arthur. Open the bag. What's in there? A hat. A hat for what? Michael, I mean, beavers. Yeah. You want to try it on? Yeah. Go ahead. Try it on. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Are you excited? Yeah. I think the hat's on backwards. That is awesome, yeah. Arthur. <laughs> Are you going to wear it tomorrow night to the yeah. uh, meeting? You can even wear your vest over your coat because it's big enough. So yeah. in the winter, you can wear it over your winter coat. That's perfect. Cool. Good every what day. a great find. That's like, that's a really good buy. <laughs> I may have farted. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, that hurt. My cheeks were all snacking together on the chair. That's gross. It's a painful, hurting fart. Well, that about sums us up for the day. You see me buy a horn, went in there to try and buy the spray horn, and that didn't work. <laughs> they did. You're, it's coming. It's coming. I couldn't. I couldn't find it though. You saw. I I'll couldn't find, find it, it first. <laughs> it's supposed to be in the boating section. But it wasn't there, it wasn't in the boating section for some reason. And I was uh, like, I'm only going to Walmart. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm going home. I got coffee from you. So I bought the horn. It's loud. It'll do the trick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to totally get you with it. No, I'll find it first. <sighs> and you saw Margaret's trials and tribulations in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, but, but thanks for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow with the next vlog. And until then, stay alive. And don't get eaten by a zombie. That was the crappiest frickin' outro ever. <laughs>